Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and Filmsimplified.com, and today we're discussing the Sudo HDR look. Now, we're not discussing actually shooting in HDR. What we're discussing here is the HDR look. You know, sometimes when people take multiple exposures of the same image and they mix them, you get this HDR look that doesn't look exactly natural, even though I don't like it a lot, but the process of getting there uh, tells you a lot on how the uh, color works in DaVinci Resolve. So let's start. Now, if you take a look at this image here, there are some dark areas and some bright areas. And we're going to try to make everything look like they're around the same exposure, which is not natural, but let's see how we do it. First, I need to compress the exposure of the image. So if you take a look at the waveform here, we have the highlights here, the shadows here, and we need to compress everything into the midtone area. And to do that, we're gonna be using the shadows and highlights controllers here. So take a look at the highlights now here, once I bring the highlights controller down and the shadows, once I bring the shadows up. Now we manage to compress the image around the midtones, and you can see that the image is mostly midtones now. Next, we're going to restretch the image, so we're going to bring the highlights up and the shadows down. However, because we're going to be doing this in a second node, we're going to actually be stretching the midtones along with the shadows and highlights. So I'm going to add a new node here now. I'm going to come to nodes and add a serial node, and in the new node, I'm going to be using curves to bring the highlights up. So curves. And I'll just bring the shadows down a bit. Now take a look at the image before and after. Notice how now we have much more of a uniform exposure around the image. It's not exactly uniform, but it's as uniform as it can get. However, due to us stretching the midtones, the midtones look very contrasty and stretched out. To solve this, we need to control the details in the midtones. We can do this through the midtone detail controller here. First, I'm going to increase it up and notice how unnatural the image looks. And then I bring it down. And again, still it looks unnatural. You have to find the sweet spot where the image still looks natural. And this is my final image. Now, take a look at the exposure before and after. Now, this is a way to get the HDR look and to try to get more of a uniform look throughout your image. However, it doesn't work on every image. Let's take a look at this image here. I'm going to be repeating the same thing. First, bringing the highlights down, the shadows up, then adding a new node. And in the new node, stretching back the highlights and shadows and pulling the midtones along with them. Bring the highlights up, shadows down, and I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a bit in color boost, great. Now, take a look at how unnatural the image looks. However, some people might be looking for this look. To try to make it more natural, I'm going to control the midtones detail by bringing it all the way up, just to show you how not unnatural it looks now, bringing it down, and maybe finding the sweet spot here, and playing back. Take a look at the image before and after. And this is how you get the basic HDR look in DaVinci Resolve. If you like this, please visit us at LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com. Thank you.